Hello. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, for the people that might not know me and that might come on or will see this later on as a recording. So I am not a Corey and I am uh, the one that is organizing and being the host to this beautiful trip to Croatia and the Bosnian pyramids. And today I have the intention of showing you what I put together in uh, the, the adjusted trip uh, that is taking place next year in June. The main trip is going to be from the 9th through the 23rd of June. And uh, upon request, I've also created a pre-trip, an amazing pre-trip to get to know a little bit more of Croatia. And that would be um, this time the northern part of the Adriatic and the Istrian Peninsula, which is uh, bordering to Italy and Slovenia and Austria, that's that northern part. So that part has been going back and forth many, many times through centuries between um, Italy and Venice and Austria, Austro-Hungarian monarchy and then Croatia. Very beautiful and interesting part of Croatia. So, uh, and I will share with you the itineraries, but right now let's start with a little bit of a movie intro that Lisa, who works with me and helps me out and hopefully will join us on the trip as well. She is my right hand uh, and creator of so many beautiful things like this little movie. So, look at that. <laughs> It's a little bit short, you know, it's a short intro that is good to be put like on social media or somewhere, you know, where, where people don't take too much time to watch anything. But it gave a little bit of a snapshot of the trip. Okay, so, um, all right, it's just the four of us for right now, but uh, <laughs> let's, let's go and continue. So... Uh, let's go with the main trip itinerary that I have adjusted a little bit uh, because I wanted it to fit into the, um, you don't have to write it down if you are writing it because we can share okay. it with you. I can send you an email with a full itinerary uh, as well as the link, you know, to the website where you can read all the blogs on the, on the different places where you're going to want to go visit. So, um, but I'm going to just talk to you about it. I have adjusted it, as I said, because I wanted us not to go too deep into the summer because it could get pretty warm, pretty hot, and we are spending most of the time outside, hiking or visiting or sightseeing or climbing the pyramid, you know. Um, so for those that can and want to climb it, it is not a necessity. I'm just wanting to say to, to you know, so that everybody is comfortable in doing what they want to do because we are going to go into into the tunnels of the pyramid where everybody can walk so there's no climbing there and you can still you're still experiencing the energy of the pyramid um, so therefore i have pulled everything that i wanted to do in croatia prior to us going to bosnia and herzegovina to sarajevo to visit that part and I've uh, added on some fun things that I didn't have in the original uh, trip uh, uh, as well. So um, the, the, the add-on, I'm not going to talk about all the, all the parts that we are going to see that are in the itinerary, but I'm going to talk about the add-on that I've added to it. And it's our visit, a day, day trip, so to say, to a a little town called Krapina. Krapina is in the northern part of Croatia, towards Slovenia, towards Austria, and it contains um, the largest 
caves found where the Neanderthals have, mm -hmm. you know, lived, obviously, because it's not just their remains, it's also the artifacts. So they have a whole museum there. It's one of the largest ones that they found in Europe. And, and right next to it, maybe, I don't know, a few miles away is a beautiful castle called Trakushchan. It was a fortress in the middle, mid ages, and then it was built up to a beauty that it is today. It sits on a hill. It's just like so fairy, fairy tale like. There's a lake, you know, and the castle is on the hill. It's just beautiful. Oh, and there's the picture. <laughs> Can you make that bigger, Lisa, or? Not good? that one, no, I can't, but I'll look for another one. <laughs> <laughs> you can see oh, what I'm talking it's about. It's things beautiful. are bigger than they appear to be. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful, uh, you know, picturesque uh, site. And, and you know, of course, you can, you can Google go in there and learn a little bit about that history and uh, walk through those holes and walkways. And then we will, as with every single excursion, we will indulge in a beautiful meal at a local restaurant called Buglets, which is also located on the, one of those rolling hills. It's all rolling hills in that neighborhood. And it's uh, authentic, um, uh, with authentic food, the local food. And it's like one of uh, log, original log homes that has been in that family for centuries so they created like a little resort but a beautiful restaurant that even was acknowledged for its authenticity and quality of food um by michelin actually there it is there is our blog so you you can read about all of that on the website um uh, but so, it is it's a, it's a beautiful little um how should I say, crowning of the end of the day of exploration and, uh, and learning um, about history and, and events. So that's, that's the add-on surprise to, to the original trip. And then when we go to Sarajevo, and Sarajevo is the capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina, you've probably heard about it a lot in the news uh, during that that world that war that was recent in in Yugoslavia, right? Because Sarajevo is located like in a kettle, so surrounded by these mountains, and which was not good for the people living there, but it was good for the those that kept them captive there because they had them, you know, in their <laughs> good view, you know. Um, for, for, for basically, you know, killing them anyways. Uh, but it is a beautiful city. It has been, it has been completely destroyed pretty much, but it has been also rebuilt. And, uh, and it has been rebuilt to, I would say, even better than where it was. So that's going to be then our domain for the part of the pyramids and, and learning more about Sarajevo um and its role in history uh so we're going to stay there in in a beautiful boutique hotel that i found um and luckily uh everybody is so collaborating with me and allowed me to transfer everything to next year and they said whatever you need it's just we're just happy that you're coming and just let us know whatever you need so i'm very grateful for for that but that's that's how these people are so I'm, I'm really anxious for you to meet everybody because you will feel at home wherever we go and mm -hmm. you will be treated as such. So we are, we're staying there the first night and then we're gonna venture out uh, towards Medjugorje and uh, Mostar. Mostar is another beautiful city uh, from the Middle Ages with a there's a famous bridge that is like an arched bridge and uh, it has been, it is uh, over 2000 years old, but unfortunately in the war, they destroyed the bridge as well. But it was rebuilt by UNESCO because it's a UNESCO site. And when you walk across that bridge, you walk literally from west to east. So you are walking from 
the, the Western civilization into, into the Orient, literally, with bazaars mm -hmm. and mosques and, and, you know, uh, these uh, older people sitting in their little cafes and having their little pet, the pets, pez, as they call it, on the head and sipping their little Turkish coffee and uh, just observing <laughs> the world passing by. So, um, and we will have the privilege of visiting a, a home that has been built in that tradition of, um, that's Mostar, look at that beauty. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. So, so the, the, the homes on that, um, in that oriental part where you can see the mosque is there, you can see the mosque there, and those homes around it, uh, they have been built like they, you would find them, let's say, in Turkey, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and visiting, we have, we, we have the privilege of visiting uh, one of those homes. Uh, on our tour, we have the privilege of visiting of the mosque inside there. And they're all located right above that beautiful turquoise river. So uh, very unique experiences uh, as is and, and real privilege to be able to go in, 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 in that home, in that beautiful home that somebody uh, or the family that owns it uh, actually gave it for the purpose of becoming a museum and, and sharing it with, with people that come to visit. So, and of course we will have um, a nice lunch, uh, authentic lunch there as well. And then we, there is opportunity to shop at the bazaar. Uh, and then we will drive for about another hour and, or so to Medjugorje where we will stay overnight. Now that's, an, that's a new thing from my original trip. I decided uh, to not overload us, but give us then, you know, a little bit more time to, to, to rest and just to resonate in the energy of Medjugorje in particular. You know, Medjugorje is uh, a pilgrimage place where over 2 million people a year go to, to pray and come with their petitions from all over the world. So it's a very spiritual, very spiritual place, um, unique energy. You can just imagine, you know, when you have so many people so coming there year in and year out, and what do they come with? With their open hearts, right? So that energy is in it, everything. The amount of operations where Mother Mary appeared to six children is very rocky, and um, it has those shrubs that are not very friendly. They're, they're, they have spikes on them and things like that, but all these pilgrims walk it. And I have seen people that they, they, they were almost quadriplegics and they decided to walk up those hills. Somehow they make it. It's incredible that, you, you know, they, that anybody, anybody is, uh, um, that is incapacitated in any form and shape can walk up those hills. And that was rocky, the, the rocky path. And then for those that uh, there's a lot of people that are in wheelchairs and cannot walk at all, but they have um, these local guys, um, they don't call them Sherpas, but that's exactly what they do. So they, they bring, they carry those people up there mm -hmm. and they stay by the statue on the, on the mountain in that energy. And I've taken those aura photography pictures there. It's so green. It's total heart chakra. It's such, just mm -hmm. such an amazing energy to be in. So they know it, they feel it, and they just want to sit there and, and base in that energy. And then um, a few hours, even for a few hours, they sit there. And then these men come back and then they carry them back to their rooms, wherever they are, you know, um, staying. So we are going to experience that. And for the people that would like to participate in, um, in a service, they, they are serving, they are uh, reading masks every hour on the hour in all languages. So that all people coming from wherever they're coming, they, they can understand it. Um, so, and, so, and we are gonna stay there in a, in a beautiful place called Ethno Selo, 
which is, um, it's a resort now, but it has been built upon ruins of ancient times of the Middle Ages. Um, and they have tried to replicate and did replicate the homes in this area are not built as much of wood, but of stone. So they are stone homes. Uh, they have little stables. There were donkeys there and all kinds of animals, peacocks. And uh, so we're going to stay in that location. Um, I know the general manager of that place, who is a friend, and <laughs> who is a friend of mine now through another friend. And they can't wait to, to have us as their guests. We are going to have some exclusive abundant meals over there you know dinner and uh, and breakfast and whatever we need and then um, the following day whatever we decide to do there whether we want to whether you want to go and explore or just sit in that energy or shop for souvenirs or whatever when we're done with that towards the end of the day we then return back to Sarajevo where we will stay in that hotel uh, it's called it's called uh, Hotel Sana uh, for the rest of our duration, and that hotel is located in in the center of the old city of Sarajevo. So uh, we can walk through the old city, which is which we will do anyways. But then being in that location, it will make it very easy for anybody to go at any time and shop the bazaars or just walk those cobbled streets and just uh, you know sit for a cup of coffee or, or eat some of their amazing desserts. So uh, it's, it's, it's a unique experience. And then uh, we are going to have a guided tour of Sarajevo so that we can learn uh, all the history. As you know, the First World War was started because uh, um, a young man killed the, the Archduke Ferdinand there. Uh, and and that was like the beginning of the First World War. And then uh, um, we have other events that have occurred there as well. So it has historic uh, events and historic um, importance as well. And it is a city that is like a melting pot between all religions and also um, nationalities. You know, former Yugoslavia was was together from multiple uh, nationalities. Um, so that is all kind of combined there. So you you will you will see a beautiful mosque next to a synagogue, next to a cathedral. I mean, they are they are all in the same quarter, right next to each other. Um, and and you will have the opportunity to actually experience uh if you wanted to buy a rug just like you were in turkey or any mm -hmm. any of those uh authentic things and they are and they are authentic uh items that you could buy there and while we're staying in sarajevo we are of course going to go and explore and experience the cuisine uh, and the restaurants that we are going to eat in are all unique very unique uh, one of them is called Park Princeva. It's like the park of the prince, princess. And it's located up on the hill, so you, you can overlook the valley, which is the core of the city, um, and enjoy a lovely, a lovely meal with music. They usually have live music there as well, with the spectacular views. That's one of them. Another one uh, is... Um, and right by the river, there is a river that flows uh, through the city, uh, dividing the old part from the newer part. And there are many bridges across it. Um, so there is another very authentic Bosnian type restaurant there with uh, uh, you know, those, uh, those teapots, the fancy, you know, like Aladdin kind of type of copper or sil silver pots and plates ornate plates um, again there's probably there's music there they play uh, music and uh, the songs that they play the ancient ones are called Sevdalinka which are uh, primarily like love songs uh, uh, from those, those uh, pastimes but still beautiful 
And another restaurant that we're going to go to is called The Four Rooms of Mrs. Safia. Cetri Sobe Gospodje Safia. So she was a, a local woman that fell in love with um, a nobleman and uh, they couldn't marry, but uh, they couldn't live apart from each other. So he gifted her with a place, and that was their that was their the place of. Uh, and Lisa is showing us the pictures, um, and it's a beautiful place that they have turned. The whole house has basically been turned into like a sitting parlor, into the restaurant parlor. Uh, there is a bar. It's 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 definitely. There they are. There, there she is. Yeah. It's definitely something uh, to uh, experience. And the food is exquisite, truly exquisite. So this will be like the culmination of our, <laughs> of our visit to Sarajevo. Uh, now, when we go to the pyramids, uh, we're going to go to the pyramids two days. And uh, yes. going, I've already communicated with Professor Osman Agic, Professor Sam, and he said, uh, you can come anytime you like. We would like, you know, we want you to come here and we want you to be here now because there is no better place than being in the pyramids while all of this stuff is happening because being in the scalar energy is the safest place to be. First of all, uh, nothing, nothing bad can live in there. And uh, no um, turbulations of the Earth's plane are actually affecting the pyramids at all. So if there is an earthquake happening, it will not affect the pyramids, which is very strange. But that, I remember him saying that. So uh, it, it is a unique experience for sure. And I want you to truly uh, enjoy and get the fullest of it, okay? So uh, uh, if, if he is not available for the tour, but I know that he will be, if he's there, uh, it will be somebody who is very close to him and very knowledgeable. So he takes us through the tunnels into the chambers uh, where the megalith stones are, um, where we will take a short meditation or long, however we want it. But every step that we walk, he lectures lectures you will learn so much and if you if you want you know maybe be prepared and capture his lectures on a tape or something you know I have <laughs> videotaped a lot of it on my phone you know but that that makes the battery go so be prepared <laughs> <laughs> but it is truly such a special treasure it's like mm -hmm. like being in a course in 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 a university, you know, and, and, and listening to his lectures. He, he is so knowledgeable in many, in many uh, domains, not just the archaeology that he has, uh, that's his specialty. Uh, he's a very spiritual guy as well. So he has purchased the land um, in front of um, the entrances to the tunnel, going, or the tunnels, I would say, going towards towards the big pyramid, which uh, Lisa is sharing with us here, is the Pyramid of the Sun. And there's actually five pyramids in that valley of the little town Busoko. Uh, can you see that beam coming out of the pyramid? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's uh, scalar energy uh, in a Karelian photography. So he has called upon um, all, all um, Oh, there's somebody that wants to come in and I'm not seeing her. All right, here we go. Laura, Laura Dickey is with us. Ha, ah, okay. Uh, let me see. Hi, Laura, where are you? Hi. Hello, I cannot see your face, but I can see that you are in. So, um, so uh, this uh, Russian uh, scientist who invented Kirillian photography, are you familiar with that? It is, it mm -hmm. is a photography where you can see the energy fields around the body or around anything. Uh, so when they took the, that kind of a photography 
of the area, they, um, oh, okay. She needs to unmute. Laura, you need to unmute yourself. Can I unmute you? Let me see. Okay. I need to leave for a minute. Excuse okay. me. It's okay. Um, how do I unmute you? There is a little um, microphone in the left corner of your screen, and you need to click on it in order to unmute yourself. Here I am. Hey! Hi! Hi, Laura. How are you? Oh, good. How are you? I'm doing great, and I have a few of familiar faces here. Good. Yeah, I'm sure that, that you have met them because they have been with us with Mary. So, uh, yes. Mary Claire and Sharon is on the call as well. And then my dear friend Lisa is there as well. Miss Laura, uh, hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Great to see you. <laughs> So I'm um, just, yes, how, how is everything? I'm today? trying to um, put my picture up there. Yeah, just click on the camera and you will be allowed to come in with your picture. I may scare you. There though. we are. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> great, great to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah. I'm going to turn off this light. On me. All right. So, um, so I have been talking about uh, our trip and some changes and additions to the original trip. And uh, it will it is being recorded, so um, I will be I will be able to send it to you. you can look at it in the full format again at your at your leisure. So we are in the pyramids and we are walking the tunnels uh, of the pyramid and we are going to the chambers where the megalith stones are, which have been uh, made by some kind of uh, human or some intelligence, because upon testing, uh, they found out that those stones were made, they are like porcelain, so some extreme heat has created them, and they were made in uh, two parts, the base, and then inside, they put crystal, beautiful crystals and then they closed it off with the same kind of a shell as the bottom part and there are some writings on some of them they look a little bit like uh, runes but yet they're different uh, and as uh, as professor uh, Osman Agate or professor Sam is going to talk about they have been these kind of stones have been placed on the cross lines of the grid that uh, that is, um, oh, there is a picture mm -hmm. of the tunnel uh, yeah. going into the, we can't make it bigger, but um, we have pictures uh, which, which we'll have on, uh, if we don't have them already, we'll have them on our website. And in the chat room, you can see the directions how to get to the website. Anyway, so uh, by uh, we will do a meditation in those in that chamber in the in the large chamber uh, after um, Professor Sam has talked about their findings and um, and then we'll uh, we'll we'll walk back out. But even though we are deep in the tunnel and by now they have probably dug out much more than when I was there last because every, every year they have lots of volunteers that go there and um, dig more of the tunnels going towards the pyramid. We haven't even reached, the, they haven't even reached the pyramids yet. But the, yet the energy is, the scalar energy, the healing energy is so potent um, in those tunnels and those chambers that they, they are, they have a record of a lot of people experiencing um, healings of all sorts. Um, I remember one, uh, one woman uh, that uh, Professor Sam was talking about, she was a younger woman and her lungs were so incapacitated that they were functioning at a um, third capacity. Um, so she had oxygen and all of that there. But uh, 
uh, when she went into those tunnels and sat in that energy and meditated by those stones, and she did that for a few days, for a week or something like that, her capacity came back fully to the point that she is now a volunteer that goes there every year and helps digging out those tunnels. Can you imagine that? Right? It's amazing. So this is just one, one story that he shared with us, but they have a record of uh, many others. And I know that they offer that Karelian photography, the aura photography there. So you can actually go and take your aura photography before you go and then take it when you come back. When they did that with 800 people, they, they, saw, they, they were showing wherever there is something happening in your body, there are discrepancies. There's like a gap in the aura picture, okay? When they took the picture, the same picture, when the people came back out of those tunnels, there were no gaps. Nobody had a gap anywhere just from that one visit. So, I mean, you know, and I've recently actually been contacted by some people here that, uh, that are working with the scalar energy, which is Tesla energy. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's amazing. They, uh, this doctor, I think her name is Sandra Rose Michaels, and she has created a device that uh, replicates and generates the scalar energy. So they are having incredible uh, success with that. So they wanted to somehow work with me and see where people can experience and explore, you know, in person in a, in a natural setting, that what she has created, you know, herself in, in a replication of a device. So there is our future. I think this is, we're going more and more towards the future of, of such healings, you know, nature and natural and energy and so on. So experiencing it, you're going to be in, um, in an amazing place and you're going to experience the utmost that you can. So I know that um, Professor Sam is going to also lead a group to climb the pyramid from another angle outside and that is a little bit on a steep side so for people that uh, you know can't do that or don't want to do that um, it doesn't it's okay they can go back in the tunnel you know experience the same energy inside so it's not that you are missing out on something but for those that can I would encourage you to do so because uh, somehow, even though it is, it could, you know, be a little bit strenuous, especially like for somebody like me that lives on um, on a beach, so to say, and going then into those elevations, I have an effect. So I really need to constantly adjust myself in order to be able to go. But I haven't seen anybody that didn't make it. So it's it's interesting how things work when you are in such amazing energy. So that's going to be uh, one day and another day, and we are gonna have lunch with him. If that's gonna still be available, but we're gonna have a lunch with him so you can ask him personal questions and things like that. Uh, I will arrange all of that. And uh, another day we will take, um, they, we will take a van, they will take us to the pyramid of the moon where you can actually drive on and uh, see there where they've dug out parts of the pyramid there. You can see it, um, how it was built. And, uh, and we will experience a lunch outside on top of the pyramid of the moon. <laughs> can you get better than that? No. It's amazing. It's truly amazing. A lot of people, they, they uh, stay overnight and they have like little tents. And they just want to stay in that energy and absorb as much as possible. So uh, that's happening there, there as well. But uh, the whole experience is just being in that energy and absorbing as much as you can uh, from it uh, for, your, for your own benefit. So that's, that's that. And, um, and then we return back. We return back to Sarajevo. We... Um, we rest a little bit and then we fly back to Zagreb. So um, uh, we have a whole day of, of a rest before returning home. 
so during that day you can uh, you can take uh, and or arrange to go for um, a dip in the mineral baths that are in the vicinity and just absorb those minerals into your body which which would be soothing probably after a little bit of a strenuous process possibly in the pyramids you know and and just bring it in deeper uh, and uh, of course a beautiful farewell dinner and then the next morning you depart um, so that's the main trip and these were the little changes that I did and add-ons to it which I'm very excited about to share with you visiting the uh, the Neanderthal caves uh, and and the museum and then that beautiful um, castle Trakushchen and and have that experience of dining in that authentic restaurant you know recognized by Michelin, but we're going to have many of such restaurants on our trip, I'm, I assure you. <laughs> so that's that. Now, in accordance to Lois's wish, uh, who expressed um, uh, the reward a week of staying longer and experience more of Croatia, I've created uh, a pre-trip itinerary, which um, which you will get, we will, we will email you to, to you, or you can also go to the website and see it there. And that's another amazing trip in itself. So I have spent uh, quite a bit of time in uh, staking out all the precious jewels of Istria, which is the northern part of the Adriatic. And uh, it's a peninsula that has been um, under Venetian rules, under Roman rule, under Italy, under Austro-Hungarian rule, and Croatia, and it's been, and been back and forth for centuries. So it is very unique in itself. Um, and there I've chosen to stay in a boutique hotel in a town called Rovigne. Rovigne is like Portofino. Have you been to Portofino or you've seen pictures of Portofino? The I've Mal seen pictures. It's, it's, you know, um, it's like, uh, an, uh, like an island amidst the coast. So all the houses are packed together. Maybe Lisa will find a picture. We have amazing pictures of it. So they're all packed together, cobble, cobble streets leading up the hill. And on top of the hill is a church with an amazing view of the Adriatic Sea. Um, so we are staying right there uh, in the vicinity of all of this. And, and there is just one picture of the, yeah, of the town, but we have many pictures. So when you go to the website, you will see, um, uh, you will see everything that we, you know, that we put up there. So this is the hotel where we are staying. Look at this. It's, uh, it's an original home, uh, original like a uh, villa. Uh, in that area and they have just renovated and modernized it to today's standards. So they are, um, they are awaiting us as well with open arms. They are um, the owners are friends with my dear friend that helped me in putting all this together. So it's, uh, I know it's gonna be an amazing and unique experience uh, as well. Uh, but from that was, that's going to be our home for the duration of the week. And from there, every day we will venture out and explore. Um, from uh, Pula, which is the capital of that peninsula, Pula is um, a city uh, in Istria that has a full intact Colosseum, like in Rome, but uh, a little bit smaller, but it's in full tap. So they do uh, film festivals there and other big events. Oh, there it is. There's a beautiful picture of the Colosseum. So obviously a lot of history, as you can imagine there uh, in, that, uh, in that whole area. So that's, that's going to be one day. And then we're gonna to venture to the Briuni Islands. They are um, a number of islands right off of uh, the mainland. Uh, and they are like a nat nature's natural park. Um, they are 
there is an amphitheater there. They are, um, it used to be, it used to be one of the main residences for, for Tito. You know, Tito was the, uh, the general or the dictator of former Yugoslavia. He knew where the best places are. So there is, you see, this is all from that, from those islands, from that island. So we will uh, venture out there by boat and um, be welcome to have a tour. They have those little trains that take you around the whole island and uh, tell all the stories about the, uh, the animal kingdom and the flora. And uh, it's just um, a, a unique place to visit uh, and, and be. And of course, uh, we will end the day with an amazing uh, dinner. And uh, I chose not to stay on the island, but to go to the mainland back and uh, in one of those little towns uh, visit one of those amazing restaurants there and um, uh, finish a beautiful day with that, uh, with an amazing meal. And then another, uh, the next day, we will venture to um, the fjord of Lim. It is, uh, they call it a channel, uh, but um, many call it a fjord because it is uh, like uh, cut into into the countryside, into the mountains, and it's deep, uh, and it goes far into the land, um, uh, and it, they grow mussels there, all kinds of mus mussels and fish because of the purity of the water. So we'll take a boat ride on that fjord and explore an amazing dinner at uh, one of the uh, restaurants there, the, which is called Viking, um, that uh, we inquired, that I inquired about as well. So that's, uh, that's, that's that part. And uh, with that, oh yeah, that's, uh, that's the Viking restaurant. It's, uh, there's, they have local wine uh, everywhere. They have uh, lots of seafood, uh, fresh seafood there, and pasta is pretty uh, predominant in homemade pasta in all of Istria because of the influence of it Italy, right? Uh, so, uh, I, I uh, you know, the Italians go to to Croatian to the Croatian coast for their vacation. And you know why? <laughs> because it is amazing food. And it's cheaper than in Italy, so <laughs> so they love to go on vacation there. And they, you know, so as you can see, it's just an amazing experience uh, for the eye and for the palate as well. And and then uh, on our way back uh, from where we're we're driving, we're driving to Istria from my hometown Pokrovsko and back. Uh, which is going to be an amazing drive through the countryside and the, crossing the mountain. Actually, we are driving through a big tunnel, uh, crossing the mountain to the other side, to the coastline. So there is a mountain range between the coast and the mainland, not the mainland, the inland, which um, also acts as a barrier for, for weather so that the climate on the Adriatic, right on the coast is, um, uh, is, is gentler, uh, is like Mediterranean climate, whereby on the other side of the mountain, they have continental climate. So snow and seasons and all of that. But on our ride back, I've chosen to stop over in Slovenia at a, uh, an amazing place called the Postojna Caves. Postojna is a uh, and uh, um, I, how do you say? It's a, it's not just one cave, but there are numerous caves that align uh, upon each other uh, for 24 kilometers, and it is you know there are those scalenites and um, uh, and they have one of the only species they call them the manfish, so it's like a pinkish colored uh, being no eyes because it lives in the dark you can see the picture of the cave it's just spectacular spectacular 
uh, so I wanted to stop over there and uh, experience that and take a train ride through those caves and experience, uh, experience that beauty. So this is, my, this is my story and my presentation of the main trip and the pre-trip. And now you tell me if you have any questions that I can answer and, um, you know, uh, I will send you the information. If you are interested in both trips, uh, I am offering a 10% off uh, on, on that. And uh, if you have anybody that wants to join you, you know, right now we're offering the offer stands for the 10% off on the trip. Uh, and you can pre-register and, and secure your spot and um, then come with me and enjoy it live because I've been so happy and so excited about putting it all together. It just, it just given me so much joy. And, and when I can share that with, uh, with you who come with me, it's, um, it's going to be uh, a gift for me as well, you know, because I'm offering you something that I truly enjoy myself and the people that I work with over there are heart-centered, amazing human beings that will embrace you as if you are family. And, and so, and, and so it is. And so it is. Do you have the cost in the itinerary and for each segment? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Um, I, uh, we, we will share that with you, but I can, you know, I can, I can tell you, I can tell you where that, where that would be. Do I have it here? So just bear with me for a moment. I don't want to make a mistake. So, um, why don't I have it here? I thought I prepared myself well, but obviously I didn't. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not good. Not good. If you don't have it now, as long as you include it, that's an important figure. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Um, if, if I remember it correctly, the, the add on trip. For um, single occupancy um, is twenty eight hundred, and for double occupancy is uh, twenty five or somewhere there twenty five hundred. So, um, so you know, um, going anywhere to the into the into the coast and in the season is a little bit more costly than being inland. So, but, um, but this is still amazing price. I think I've, uh, you know, I have secured for now um, the lodging, which is the most expensive part. Um, uh, they gave me, they gave me a special price if I reserve it now. And I think I have until end of August uh, to reserve it to keep that price steady. Mm -hmm. So, um so there you go uh, but you will get you will get the the pricing with the itinerary uh it's it's already there so you can you can then uh look at it and um and do we have any knowledge or assurances regarding the covid and 2021 i i just put it out there um well the hotel and the trip and Every, uh, you know, I have secured the hotel and the lodging for this year for September. And mm -hmm. I had no problem okay. in transferring it all of, over to, um, to next June. Mm -hmm. They are mm -hmm. very, very collaborative and cooperative uh, with, with anybody that, uh, mm -hmm. that wants to come. And that is, everybody understands the situation. Everybody is in the same kind of... Uh, situation you know mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. um from that perspective uh, i don't think you have to worry about anything you know okay so that that is that is that is a given 
So no mm -hmm. loss here, mm -hmm. no loss here. And now that it's the price for the regular, the, the regular trip or the, the, the same? The main. The main trip the same? Uh, for now, I am keeping it the same unless I hear any changes that might occur that might, you know, kind of shift it drastically. But I don't foresee that, even okay. though, you know, I've included now more into the trip. So if there would be something, it would be minimal. But for now, I'm, I'm really working hard to keeping it as is. Uh, as, as I said, unless there is something that will, you know, that I have to take in consideration and and do it you know uh, but it's nothing going to be um substantial i don't foresee that you know so yeah and the free trip is how many days uh it's from the 2nd of june through the 8th of june and on the 9th of june basically through the 9th so on the 9th we start with the other one uh whoever is not taking part in the pre-trip they arrive on the ninth, so mm -hmm. we, we our full day is the eighth because we visit mm -hmm. the caves and we drive back and so on. So, um, yeah, it's a full week. It's a full week. Okay. We have uh, five lodgings in uh, in Rovin, and we have uh, two lodgings in um, at our home base in Pokupsko, where my my family's compound. Uh, just because of the arrival, we arrive, you arrive in Zagreb, which is the capital, and it's only, uh, it's only uh, 30 kilometers uh, away from the airport. So we might as well stay at the location where we're going to be. And actually, I'm saying, um, I would highly suggest to anybody that is taking part in both, um, bring two pieces of luggage you know, or something like that. So you don't have to, to carry everything for the entire trip wherever we go. You can just separate and have a smaller uh, bag for, for the week in Istria. And then you can have uh, the same kind of setup when we go to Sarajevo to the pyramids, you know, and just mm -hmm. kind of work with that, um, uh, with that. And just don't forget that uh, you will have the opportunity to buy a lot of things and they will be very tempting and just uh, have some room for that. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, we will, there is, uh, we will keep your luggage. If you bring more than one, we will keep it in Pokovsko at my family's compound. So you don't have to carry it with you wherever else you go, right? Like to Istria or when we go to Sarajevo, you don't have to take everything with you. You, you make yourself, um, you know, comfortable to the point where uh, you just take what you really need. So, um, so yeah, uh, we will be uploading the newest free trip itinerary on the Nadana International website this week uh, and the pricing and the terms and conditions, everything will be there so that you, you know, you can easily access it. Um, and if you have any, um, if you have any, any issues, of course, you know where to find me, right? So you can call me, you can email me, whatever. And uh, yeah, and share and share this with, uh, with others that you think might enjoy joining us on this amazing trip. I, I truly, I am so excited because <laughs> I've been really uh, working on this so diligently and uh, you have and 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 had notes. such amazing collaboration over there that um, it's uh, it's so exciting and so uh, I'm so grateful and so grateful and I'm grateful for the opportunity to share it with you that joined me on that journey. So there's only two of us here today. I imagine about the same number are going though still, or uh, you don't know. Yeah. Yeah, um, no, nobody, nobody has canceled. So it's okay. Uh, it's also Lois and and Ginger and her daughter mm -hmm. are coming. Mm -hmm. uh, they have signed up for the for the trip. Um, I've invited everybody to come to this call, but um, I guess not everybody can make it. But we'll we'll offer this this recording so that they can see it and then um, uh, you know, communicate what they want to do. So. Let me know when you decide so that I can decide too, okay? Okay. And, uh, and if you have any questions, just don't hesitate to ask me anything. 
Okay. You know we'll ask. Thank you for putting it all together. Yes. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. And I have to ask you, where are you that with the background? Like <laughs> well, I am in Florida. I'm in Florida, but uh, this is a live picture, but not right now behind me. <laughs> It's actually, uh, it's actually, I think, on the beach of, uh, of the Bahamas. Oh. But I chose it because it's live and it's just moving ocean. And I'm, I'm down the street from the ocean, so. We'll have to nice. teach Laura how to, how to do the uh, virtual background. You can pick one also in your profile. Yeah. You could just put virtual background. You could be anywhere. I think I'll try that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they have a, they have a lot of um, options there. Or you can put your one of your photographs or something in the background. You know, if you have something yeah. that you like. Well. I have one of Abaco. That's where Frank and I yeah. spent our honeymoon. Oh, nice. that's fun. Nice. Our I went to Abaco from college yeah. for spring break. It was great. Oh my goodness! Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. So, ladies, do you have any other questions for me? Anything that might pop up? No? Okay. Not at the moment. I like the addition of the caves on the main one. That was particularly nice. Uh -huh. um, probably something else I'm forgetting right now, but thank you well, for all your time and effort. Let yeah. me know. Let me know. Absolutely. Let me know. Any thoughts are welcome. Good to see you all. Good to see you too, Laura. You, Laura. Please give Hopefully my regards yeah. to Frank. Hope you and Frank will come. I will certainly tell him. We would love to have you join us, you two. Well, it might be more, it might be possible since it's not till June. Yeah. 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 Maybe by that time they'll have a vaccine and we'll all be. <laughs> <laughs> Lois sent me an email on some tests successful with antibiotics for everybody or the antibodies in yeah. for everybody that's had it in the sample. So who knows? That's right. Well, let's think positive and let's mm -hmm. create what we want to create. Yes? And yes. not give See our you all in Croatia. There you go. Let's see us right there walking those beautiful public streets and, and in the pyramids. Beautiful yeah. boat rides and climbing the pyramid or walking in the pyramids uh, tunnels and just yeah. enjoying enjoying life. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, you have seen in the chat in the chat room that um, Lisa was so kind to post uh, in there so you can see that. The, the website is there and she has put everything, uh, other information as well. So the blogs about all the different places um, that are being visited by us are in on that website as well. And we will put the itinerary and all of that up as well. So we are, uh, that, that requires a little bit more finesse because uh, uh, it has to uh, sink in with, with the e-commerce and whatever, you know, with all the money stuff and uh, how to click on that and uh, bring it all into, into one. So, but anyways, all of that is going to be there soon. Now you know what the story is. Yes. And uh, yeah, look at it again, share it, and um, let me know as soon as you decide what you want to do so that I can then decide on my end as well okay thank okay. you so much thank you and, yeah, thank and you. god bless you all and stay well and uh just uh be healthy and happy okay you too same to all all yeah. right bye -bye. And if you need another call we can do another call maybe in a couple months or something just to uh get an update and 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 um you know just see where we stand okay or just to see your beautiful Absolutely. faces. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Love to all. Okay. Love you. And thank Bye. you for all your work. Thank you. Love you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.